hello, my name is Mika Alatalo, and this is my part of our presentation on treatment and valorization of liquid effluents from pulp and paper industry. So my main focus is on equalization, and equalization is a process of uh, pre-treating the wastewater. Uh, and it's usually carried out in equalization basins, as we can see an example of the, such a basin here in this picture. Uh, these, these tanks are usually located after the primary clarification and before the aeration tank. Uh, and the purpose of these equalization basins uh, is to basically act as a buffer before the actual wastewater treatment. Uh, so they aim to keeping the flow of the effluent constant and the wastewater characteristics more stable so that the, the input to the aeration tank could be as stable as possible. A successful equalization uh, enables better treatment results and mitigates the necessity to adjust the following process steps. So as the input to the following process steps is more stable, they need less adjustments. And, and the import, importance of these equalization basins ha, have become more and more important as the uh, wastewater treatment has advanced. Okay. Um, well, equalization uh, is depending on monitoring because effective monitoring provides uh, data of the properties uh, that have to be adjusted. Uh, so it's very important for the functioning of this process. Uh, these equalization basins are usually three to four meters deep and they are equipped with surface aeration or mixers, uh, which are to do, for example, with odor resistance. Uh, well, these equalization tanks, they have uh, Goals. The goal is to keep the output as stable as possible, and uh, an example of such goal could be uh, the keeping of uh, COD variation at a maximum level of 15 to 20 percent. Uh, also, in equalization tanks, some bot reduction occurs, which is good, but uh, if it happens too much, uh, it would affect the activated sludge process or whatever the subsequent processes are so that wouldn't be good so to some extent it should be even avoided um, well then there are emergency basins which also uh, work as buffers before the actual wastewater treatment and, and they are very important they act as a storage for the wastewater in exceptional conditions so when there's a, some emergency situation or there's been some uh, chemical has leaked into the water or some uh, there's too much of some substance in the wastewater that it would affect the wastewater treatment so so then the water needs to be stored into these emergency basins and they are also highly dependent on effective uh, monitoring uh, because often otherwise the, some discharge of some dissolved matter could be noticed um, 
uh, one study says that usually it's noticed from 12 to 24 hours later, which is pretty much too late to notice this spill. So, so if that's the speed for the information, then then uh, these emergency basins could only be used uh, for some exceptional conditions that can be uh, foreknown. For example, some some service and maintenance situations. Uh, but effective monitoring would would enable us to use these effectively whenever whenever there's something harmful substance or too high concentrations concentration of some matter in the wastewater effluent. And here are the sources that I use for the gathering of this information. Thank you.